Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss about how to run Amazon Connect inbuilt chat with security enabled, right? So this is a security enabled that you do. You get a secret key uh, and how to use that and how to make uh, with the security features uh, run in locally. Okay, so first let's go to the document that they have. Okay, uh, so this is where we enable the security, right? I have done those step already over here in my um, uh, what is it the widget I have already enabled the security so I get the security key over here right so once you enable this one right you have to add something like this in your existing scriptlet right so what you get from the Amazon connect is till this point right what do you have to do copy this and like I have done over here and this code is already pushed to the github uh, the link I have already uh, placed over there in the description section. Don't worry about the details about it. I will just explain what I have done, right? Uh, so this is the part which you get basically from Amazon Connect widget, right? So I will go back over here. So this is the widget that you have got. Now what you have to do is add this part. So I have modified a little bit over here uh, that I will show you. So you have to copy this part. Now what exactly it means? that when you enable the security key like this one uh, what it will happen is Amazon has provided you one key okay using this key they have given the code over here using this key you should generate a JWT token Java web token right this is the name and it should be returning from your website when you call the slash token what it means is when I'm calling so this is my local host test right so this is where my chatbot is hosted this is the chat test.html right now what I'm saying is when uh, sorry uh, where it does code uh, what it means window fetch slash token means either use the API or the web URL get URL right to call this one right so whenever I call I get a new token over here so this is what they specify now what they have done is they have given the code in Python I have converted that code into uh, JavaScript right so this is my code over here where we are using uh, Java web token JWT right and lexon for the date and time so this is a widget ID what is the widget ID again I will go back to my over here uh, if you see this part right c7 blah 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 so this is your widget id uh, and uh, what is the key key i have got from below from copy key so you will get the key right so this is my key now what i have done is whenever the app slash token <clears throat> so we are using express over here uh, over here we are using express so uh, what it will do is whenever the URL is slash test, right? It will redirect to test HTML. And whenever that URL is slash token, right? Localhost 3000 uh, slash token. What it will do is we, it will generate a token and it will respond by a token colon encoded token. So whatever the token is there, right? And if I try to run it over here, you will see that it's working fine every time I'm getting a new token over here if you see okay now what changes I have done to the code so this is the code that I have right so this is the one which I copy pasted from uh, the website they have given right so this part is this part right now only thing I have changed is uh, collecting the token right so this is a data token right and data is the object that I get the whole object this thing whole object and in this JSON token uh, JWT is inside of this attribute right so that is what I have on data token data token which is going back to the callback so this is where we have to send the token okay if it is clear so far what I will do is I will just run this one and once I click this one over here I get the token just for the confirmation and once I click OK 
it will now display whatever the initial message that you have configured right so this is the initial message you configured that you get over here or you can continue the journey so this is how we enable this solution uh, or we enable the built-in widget to a particular website when there is a uh, security key is enabled and how you can generate the JWT token from a website in a JavaScript code. Hopefully you find this video useful. Thank you. Have a nice day.